Hello. Uh, today I'm starting a work on, on two photo albums. And I'm here at the board shear because I have to cut the paper first. Uh, the paper is, is black Stonehenge and it is 22 by 30. Although uh, when I actually measure the paper it's a little bit over 30. Uh, so, and I want to cut uh, three folios out of, each, out of each sheet. So I'm going to set my gauge first here at 10. And here is the sheet. It's 22 and a half by 30 inches long and it has a little bit extra on one end. But I'll trim that down later. And I'm going to put the paper in right against my gauge here. And cut the first sheet. Now, because I don't want to have to keep picking up these, this sheet here, bringing it back around and putting it through, I'm going to do something else. So I have some masking tape here, and I'm going to put two little stops in. Two little stops in, like this, right at the edge of the paper. And then, I'm going to pick this up and slide it down. First of all, I'm going to check to make sure I've got it in the right place. The tape measure, we're right on 10 there, and a little bit less there. Let me hold this. And I'll mark it again. And we're right on 10 now. So I'll take the paper this time and match these edges up. To the tape. And now I'll put a weight on the paper and make a second cut here. And these tapes will act as stops and I'll just be able to push the paper through cutting one after the other. So before we really begin, I'm going to test this again to make sure I have this at 20. And we're right on there. And I seem to have to move this one too. So <laughs> just, it's just like about a 30 second out. There we go. So this will be the like second cut on the sheet. And all of the remains can just stay right here on the side and I won't have to keep moving them around. So since this was the first cut, okay. And since that last sheet here may have been long, I'm gonna test. And I can see that this one is just about a little bit longer because the when I measured the sheets, they were more than 30 inches. They were just over. So I'll put this in here and give this a good trim for the for that uh, this little hair of extra.
So now I'll take the second, take the next sheet, and I'll put it up to the first tapes like this. Cut. And I can go on again now with the rest of the sheets and not have to keep bringing the paper, keep bringing the paper back out of the, uh, out of the bin here. Another way that you can check to make sure that your cut is parallel is to take one of your cut sheets and just bring the two ends up like that and they should match. So I'll continue cutting and then we'll come back, fold the signatures and begin to sew them. And now we're almost ready to fold. So uh, I've got my stack of paper here, it's all been cut, and over here I have a simple carpenter square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it down on this one side so that the paper, when I push it against it, will not slide underneath it. So I'll just take a length of tape here. and stick it to the square and then fold it squarely against the edge and then with my folder push it down onto the table like that. Now with the stack of paper I'm going to pick up a, a section of it like this and because it's all together like this it'll be difficult to pick up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it a little bit on this side, clamp it here, and do that again. And what that does is it fans the paper out so that I can pick up one sheet at a time to fold. And uh, since the paper, this paper, uh, Stonehenge, is blacker on one side and sort of a gray on the other side, uh, you can't probably see that in the video, but uh, I'm going to try to keep it uniform. So all of the black sides are up and they're going to be the insides of the folio. So I'll bring this here to the edge and then this matches up the other edge very easily. I don't have to think about it or look to measure for the half. And fold and then put it up, put it up like that. So this happens all very quickly now. Now you could, instead of using a carpenter's square, just use a simple piece of cardboard, you know, or, you know, one of your triangles, depending on the size of the paper that you're using. Okay, and once I, once I have four of these, I'm only going to do this for demonstration at the moment because I do want to go through all the folding before I start making signatures. Uh, once I have four of these, I can make a signature. So I'll just open this up and put each one in here like this. And now I have the traditional sort of uh, eight leaves or 16 page signature that'll be ready to stack up and sew into an album. So I'll put that there and then just continue folding. Okay, once I've gotten through this stack, I'm going to do that 
off camera. Uh, we'll come back and I'll show you how to mark up and sew the album together. Now it's time to sew the books together. Uh, what I have done is I took the pages that we folded and put them into signatures like this and I put a few together like that and then I would knock them up like this and that sets all of the folds very tightly together in the, uh, in the signature. Uh, after that was done, I set them up as books and then I put them into this press back here overnight to sort of solidify the folds uh, in the books. So here they are, and they have been pressed for two days, and you can feel that they're even you know, more solid now when you pick them up. Uh, what I had to do because they have folds is I set them in like six and six, because each book will have 12 signatures in it. So I set them opposite each other with the four edges opposite the spines, and then this will be one album. And this will be the other one, the second album. So now we're ready to mark these up and uh, set them, uh, get them ready to be sewn. I have my, you know, triangle here. And I have a yellow, you know, pencil, a yellow colored pencil because I won't be able to see black, you know, on the spine. So at the spine, I'll bring this down. I mark a half inch from the head or tail on both ends. And I'm going to sew this onto two tapes. So I'm going to cut tapes that will go about an inch on around the uh, the book plus the uh, spine thickness. So I'll cut two tapes. Actually, I should just cut all four right now because I've got two books. and put those with that book. Now, I'm going to evenly space these between the kettle stitches so we have a little bit uh, more of an even space here. And give this just a little mark on top. And then with the triangle, mark the spines. Now this is just one way that you can mark up your spines for, uh, for sewing. And I think I'm going to be pre-punching these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a guide that's going to go inside the signature each time uh, I open a signature and get it ready to sew. So what I'll do is I'm going to take a, a little piece of cardboard, and this is a piece of uh, heavy paper. And I'm going to glue a little stop on it, like this. If I can get some glue out of here. This is PVA. And I'm going to put this right on the edge of the paper here, like this. And give that a second or two to harden, like that.
then uh, I'm going to take the paper and this will catch you know where the little stop is as I slide it in and I'm going to take this and mark this with a pencil at the kettles and on each side of the tape like that and that way I can set it down into the inside of the signature before I sew it and use my little needle to pre-punch the holes. This will make it easier because I have two books and there's like 24 signatures here. Uh, and I'll just be able to like move, you know, right through. Okay. So, in order to start sewing the books, I'm going to turn the whole book over. That way I keep the head together with the head. Because each time I pick up a signature, I'm going to turn it like this and put it down. So. I have some black thread here. This is black linen thread and it won't be showing up like in a white inside the book when the book opens. So I'm going to pull out about four, four lengths of thread. And then I have my needle. I thread the needle and then about an inch or two from the end I'm going to take the point of the needle and flatten the thread. And if you flatten the thread, then you can just take the point and put it through the thread like this. And if you pull this down, this way the thread will not come off of the needle when you pull. I'm going to release the tension just a little bit with my fingernail here. And I'll take the first signature. So I'm opening this to the center. I have my guide and I pull it in so that it fits, you know, so that the uh, catch catches on the head there. And then I can take my punch and punch right where the pencil lines are. Okay. Now, I should have a little thicker board here. I'm going to get a thicker board. This is... Uh, I want a little more hype you know, for sewing. So now, I can take my needle and I see where the hole is, put it in from the spine, pull it through and always pull it in the direction parallel to the spine. Don't go pulling it out, you know, from the spine because uh, that's a bad habit. If you were working with thin paper, you could tear, you know, the book, you tear the signature. This is not going to tear. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I can pull this back and we'll put the tapes in. There and here. Now I'll take my second signature and put this down in place. 
take my little gauge. And this way, this way, now that I am up higher here, I can put the needle through at an angle and not hit the tabletop. And we'll go back in at the kettle here. Should take this out. It makes it easier to pre-punch holes, especially if you're dealing with thick paper, like for making an album. Okay, now at this point, we're going to tie a little square knot to join the signatures together. And we can pick up our third section, third signature. So flipping it over. Opening to the center. Put my gauge in and punch the holes. And the needle will go right back into the kettle stitch here. And when we get to the head, we will put our first kettle stitch into the signatures here, into the book. Okay, now to make the kettle stitch, we're going to run the needle between the first two signatures and push it out of the top like that and it will make a loop. Then you bring the needle up through the loop and you pull that tight. That joins the signatures together. And then we'll continue to put the kettle stitch in uh, at each at each end now now that we're all started so we'll flip the fourth signature over put my little gauge in and poke the holes And we can sew. And again, the kettle stitch, we put it between the last two signatures that were sewn together and push the needle out the head, or the tail in this case, and pull it tight like that. So now the, the book is, is getting together.
after this signature, when we start the fifth one, I will have to add some more thread, you know, to the, because uh, I'm getting a little short here. I think I probably should do it now. That way I can just tie the knot now. So what I'm going to do is, this is a little short, it could come back, you know, to here, but I'm going to bring it, uh, I'm going to do the knot now. So, you take your new thread, and what I'm going to do is make a loop with the thread going underneath, so I can hold it like that. So the thread is on the back side like this. Then with this thread here, I'm going to make a loop and hold it like that in my hand. Put it up, put it over that piece that's standing up, and then this way you can control where the knot goes into the center of the book here. And it becomes very tight. I'll trim these down. Get those off the table. And now I'll pull another you know, four lengths and give myself a little bit more and put the needle on this end. So again, we thread the needle pull about two inches and then flatten the piece Flatten it right, flatten it with the point of the needle and put it through. And then you can pull this down and it will stay on the needle. Okay, pressing everything down again. I'm going to put the needle through here, through the last two sewn signatures, and then bring it up through the loop and tie the kettle stitch. Okay, I'm going to continue sewing these till I get them done, and then we'll get on to the next stage, which will be making end papers uh, and uh, gluing up the spine. So, I'll see you a little later. Bye bye.